Morning. Compost piles. We're going to talk about compost piles today. I'm going to cover a few different subjects. But uh, do I realize that it's 27 degrees out here? Yes, I do. <laughs> it's uh, 7 o'clock in the morning and I'm in there working on this video and I figure I have to start this video by explaining a couple of things. Pay attention. Number one, of course, click subscribe and if you're looking for any of the products I'm talking about, I'll link to them in the description below over on a page. But uh, I'm gonna discuss aerobic versus anaerobic decomposition or processing in a compost pile. I'm gonna show you a crap pile that's anaerobic and then I'm gonna show you our goal which is aerobic, activating these piles where heat is involved in the process. I'll explain that in one second. But first, Dirt Booster. Dirt Booster is a product that you guys actually requested. So I went to the Andersons and I said, uh, can you help us develop this? We used it, we've been using this now for what, two years? And basically it's a corn concentrated product. It's very flaky and very dry, so it's really fast to be digested. It has molasses particles in it, dry molasses particles inside of it. It has humichar inside of it, which is biochar and humic acid. And then included in the Dirt Booster bag or on the outside is gonna be a microbial booster pack that you just mix with water and spray. So that's what I'm using today. I'm using the new product. It'll be available probably on Amazon in late February. It will come in about a 20 pound bag. So that's what I'm using. Why do, am I doing this video? We're talking about getting these piles to activate because aerobic uses oxygen, water, and temperature to produce fungi, bacteria, and it all starts to work and it really heats up. You're talking 120, 130 degrees. Bad bacteria and pathogens really can't survive in that environment. So what you get is you get a pile of this super compost that not only has real high carbon, real high organic matter, it has good bacteria, has good fungi, has everything that's good inside this pile. We can then take that pile and mix it into our garden soil wherever we're planting and the results are amazing. So that's what we're doing. Anaerobic decomposition, I have a crap pile back here I'm going to show you. Basically it's when uh, there's no oxygen, it's just a pile that sits there and rots. It doesn't get warm and it turns kind of dark and sludgy and you actually have a lot of bad material in it. So that's the difference. A good compost pile has that oxygen, water, and everything else that's good and it sort of heats up. Steam, you'll see the steam coming off it. That's good. The slow decomposing nasty stuff just really isn't something you want to put into your garden and that's what I'm trying to show you today. Now, we're gonna do two things. I'm gonna show you me actually making some of this stuff and I actually go inside and because it's too cold out here for the stuff to really activate. So we're gonna make a compost pile, uh, but I'm also gonna show you how we use some of this dirt booster that we just lightly mix it into the, the actual garden soil so that as months go by, there's a little bit of this material all mixed into our soil. So there's two things I'm talking about. I'm talking about a compost pile where we actually make that super compost that's really active. Boom, we mix it in. And then we just also can just mix it into our soil lightly and just till it in. So those are the two things. Let's go forward. Hopefully that explains it for you. So one thing I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how we make these really fast super compost piles that you can have compost full of microbes and nutrients, usually within about a week. But you gotta understand how the temperature impacts compost piles. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you out back here. Now this really isn't so much a compost pile as it is what I call a crap pile. So it's just, a, it's just a pile of leaves and grass clippings or whatever, but it's a great example to show you how these compost piles cool down in the winter and the activity level actually starts to stop. We have this crap pile. <laughs> this is four years old, um, grass clippings, weed, garden crap, just all kinds of stuff. Well, I dug down in it this morning and I took a soil temperature 
um, and it was about 53, 54 degrees at the very, very bottom. That's not a really active pile. So this pile, while it is slowly decomposing, and once the summer comes around, it'll get real active, and especially once I start turning it or whatever, right now it's not. And this whole, this whole thing came about because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make some, I'm trying to make some compost for our seeding experiment. Now, the one thing we've never tested is we've never tested, is there an impact from soil microbes, fungi, um, just good quality compost, is there an impact on seedlings and what happens during the first two to four weeks? And so that's the experiment we're gonna do. Uh, first, I'll go ahead and I'll take you over. My son's over here, Ryan's over here, and he's working these beds. And I'm gonna show you what we're doing with these beds. Um, we're actually working some dirt booster actually right into the soil, but that's not a compost pile. So we've got all these beds over here. We've got all these new beds we're installing over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, instead of, I'm gonna break off onto a different subject, which is another video coming up, which is about instead of using mulch, straw, or wood chips as your cover, we're actually gonna use almost like weeds. We're gonna use rye, clover, flowers. We're not gonna have any cover on it. We're just gonna, and this comes from a video I asked you guys to watch. But let me show you an experiment. The other day, if you watch my last video, you'll know that I'm trying to get this compost pile activated. I'm using a cooler with a heating pad. Um, I got the soil up to about between 80 degrees at the bottom, 70 degrees at the top, and it finally activated. And let me show you the temperatures that we're starting to hit. Now this is a super compost pile and I moved it inside. My wife's gonna be thrilled. The dog bed for this spot. So there is a heating pad underneath it. The heating pad only raises the pile to about 80 degrees. We mixed in the dirt booster, the microbe, and let's see what we can get up to now. So about 61 degrees in here. Let's go in there. Let's see what we got. Now, what you'll see, <laughs> This morning I got up close to 130 degrees, depending on the spot I found. So you can see 128, 29, come on, give me a 130. Give me some love, give me a 130. <laughs> there you go, 130 degrees. I finally was able to get this pile to activate, but the temperature, the soil temperature is critical on your compost piles, and I wanna make sure you understand that. Okay, so if you go over to dirtbooster.com, you'll see the videos where what we do is we take uh, cow manure compost, you can buy it at Lowe's, you can use, if you got really rich soil, you can just use soil, but you add this dirt booster, it has biochar, humic acid, organic material, and the microbial pack, it, it gets up to like 120, 130 degrees for about five days and then starts to cool down. At that point, you mix it into your garden and boom, you got these huge vegetables growing. You can use it on flowers, you can use it on vegetables, use whatever you want. Now there's a second method. Now this second method, you gotta understand, um, we're mixing in the dirt booster into the actual garden soils, but the one thing you want to be careful about is not to turn your soils and garden beds into a compost pile because you start to overheat your, your garden beds and then plant right in it, you're going to burn your roots. So this is, you just put a little bit of this on top, just mix it in or till it in. Um, and now you have extra organic matter and carbon already available there. And as the microbial activity starts to bump up, all season long, your plants are going to be fed. You will use zero fertilizer. So I showed you the compost pile. Let me show you. We'll go over here real quick, and I'll show you the, um, Ryan filling up these beds with a mix of different materials and the Dirt Booster Pro. So that's good news. Here we are in February. It was 29 degrees this morning, and look at that guy. <clears throat> and when you were cleaning them up, you said what? There so, was hundreds of them all over so we've got tons of earthworm activity inside here so let me explain what we're doing 
We've worked this soil with some uh, dirt booster last year. So I'm gonna take some of this good soil out because it's so rich. I mean, look at it. I mean, it's just so rich. Let's see if I find any more worms. I think the worms are down deeper hiding. But um, we're gonna take some of this soil, we're gonna put it inside some of those beds, then we're gonna mix some of this humi humified um, soil inside of that. So pretty much, I want all these kind of even with the distribution. So if you watch my last video, which was called Soil Miracle, watch that video because I talked to you about a video that will change your life if you're a gardener. It'll absolutely change your life <laughs> if you're a gardener. And he talks a lot about what we're trying to do to these soils. But there's a quote in there from this farmer. And he says, healthy soil looks like black cottage cheese. You got that? Healthy soil looks like black cottage cheese. I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna show you some black cottage cheese here in a minute. Now, in the description below, I'll link to these bags you can buy and you can order them and have them delivered if, um, and it's, you don't wanna put 100% of this in, you wanna mix this into either an existing soil or add, or add it to some garden soil, but it's a pretty decent sized bag and it'll probably fill up about six or seven of these, of these large beds. So hold on. All right, so this is one of those bags. Now I will link to these bags if you're in the Southeast, Georgia, South Carolina, whatever, you can order these bags. They'll deliver them right to your door. I think it's like 180 bucks or something, including delivery for this whole thing. So what does that look like? That looks like black cottage cheese. And this is a humic compost. And that's what we're gonna be adding into the garden beds. I'll link to it in the description below. You can order it. By the way, they also sell leveling mix. If you need to level your yard, go over in the description. I'll list that on the page. I'll list those two. We're gonna mix that into our beds. Then we're gonna add some of the dirt booster. That's how I would normally do it. Take in 40% of the dirt out of this one. And we're transporting 40% of our garden soil over to the new boxes and then ryan's bringing in um, another wheelbarrow full of the new humic soil and then we'll mix that in here okay so what we've got here is i've got um some of the old soil along with some of this new humic soil mixed in it's just absolutely gorgeous but what we need to do is we need to make sure that this soil <clears throat> we're pretending that we're pretending we're going to plant our garden in two or three weeks maybe so what i want to do is i want to put biochar and organic matter lightly in here and mix it so it's all through the soil so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to take some dirt booster bag just so you know and i'm just going to lightly put some on top of each bed Just like that. Then I'm gonna spray it with a microbial pack. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray this with a booster, microbial booster. I'm gonna let this sit for about 10, 15 minutes. Let it absorb into the biochar and then we're gonna mix this thoroughly. What that'll do is that'll give me a very light concentration throughout the soil of organic matter, humic, uh, humic acid, and biochar all mixed in. There you go. Okay, so remember, we're pretending that we're getting ready to plant our gardens in a couple of weeks. So what I'm gonna do is, is we've got this mixed up. We're just gonna add a light coat of dirt booster to it right on top. I don't wanna turn my garden bed necessarily into a compost pile. If you do that, you'll burn your roots. Now, 
okay doc you're doing this when your microbes are not active what's going to happen when the soil microbe uh, action actually kicks in it'll be there and it'll digest it well what i'm going to do is if you watched if you read um the last thing i talked about which is monoculture versus multiculture we're going to start to plant pansies clover and grass weeds in here before we plant our garden okay so now i'm going to skip forward to this morning <laughs> that was yesterday and i'm going to show you you're going to see something amazing happen truly amazing you start to see this pile now i've turned it probably twice i added a little bit of water maintain water oxygen and heat the heating pad is off this is all self-generated and now the next morning you're going to see all this white fuzz on it that's a lot of the fungi that's starting to grow in there the bacteria the microbes and that's all good healthy stuff it's all that super fibrous kind of fuzzy stuff that really brings your soil to life really helps your roots that's what we're trying to get to it's so cool so let me go ahead and I'll show you this morning. This is a thing of beauty, absolute beauty. Here's what I want to show you. So it's early morning, it's 6.30 in the morning, and Doc's over here opening his cooler, and my temperature is in the 120s. But look at all this wonderful fuzz. You can feel the heat coming off this pile. But see all this fuzz? Let me zoom in a bit. See all that fuzz? The fungi, bacteria. This is all the healthy stuff we want to see in here. That is just absolutely gorgeous. But this is aerobic. This is aerobic. So there's oxygen, water, and heat involved in this process. And this is all the beneficial fungi and bacteria that we're looking for. And so what I'll do is I'll stir this to make sure there's more oxygen inside of it. Make sure it doesn't dry out and try and keep this temp up. But this, I can keep doing that and mixing this up um, for a couple days. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. Again, aerobic versus anaerobic. Well, I figured I'd just sort of open it up and let you see kind of what goes on in here. You'll see a bunch of steam coming up and you'll see this white, all that wonderful bacteria, all those microbes, the fungi, bacteria, that is just beautiful. And it has this rich earth smell to it. I mean, it doesn't smell like crap. <laughs> it doesn't smell rotting. It's just this really rich earthy smell. All that steam coming off and that's just wonderful so guys i hope that's kind of helped you with compost piles and a lot of people last year there were a handful of people that said i can't get my pile to activate well a lot of people go buy the compost manure and it's really cold and uh, they sit it out and they try and get it to activate and it won't activate well you've got to get that compost manure sit it in the sun take that bag whatever you're going to use whether it's soil or compost put it in the sun and get that stuff up to like 70 80 degrees then go ahead and make your super compost pile. It's really cool. Uh, hit subscribe and hope that helped you out. I'll talk to you later. Doc.